Right, well, good evening. I just wanted to talk to you for just a minute and say life is great. Life is grand. And we can change with every decision we make, with every awareness. Nah, that's not really what I wanted to say. I've just um, been putting off doing videos for quite a while and uh, wanting to go, you know, do, stop doing videos outside because <clears throat> you had seen me in, uh, hiking all the time. And uh, I don't know, just wasn't sure that that was a way to reach you guys. I know some of you are looking for marketing techniques and tips and some of you want to know about uh, wealth building and productivity and uh, some of you just want to make changes and I think that's a great place to start is the deciding. Um, tonight I was at a recovery program where many people are deciding to make changes. <clears throat> some of them keep coming back because they keep deciding to change and they keep coming back and they keep coming back and they do work the homework and they do what it takes and uh, I liken that to um, when I was growing up <laughs> my brother and I would pack a little sack lunch and we'd head off into the hills <laughs> we lived where there was you know lots of woods lots of free you know open land uh, out of town a ways and uh, we'd take machetes and and we'd clear trails and uh, sometimes there would be trails already there and sometimes we'd have to make them and the trails we had to make were pretty hard. I mean, there was stinging nettles where I grew up, and uh, lots of ferns and sharp uh, plants and thorns, lots of blackberries, uh, spider webs, you know, all kinds of stuff to get entangled in. And um, So it was always harder, of course, to make the trail than it was to find the trails that were already made. But it was a lot more fun to make those trails. It was a lot more exciting. We felt like we were going where no one had gone before. <laughs> and I liken that to the changes that, that we're making in recovery. Um, the changes as we step forward uh, closer to our new self, our, our, not our new self, but our true self. And that person emerging from us that, uh, that's always been there. And that we're allowing to finally come to the surface, so to speak. So, I just wish for you that um, you can make the changes that you want to make and that you understand that there are going to be times when it's going to be hard and an ego is going to step up and try to keep you safe. Um, ego, it, you could consider it your friend only for the fact that it will keep you out of danger, but the problem is most often, the danger that ego thinks is danger really isn't. And um, I like the way Sam says ego is edging guidance out. So anytime you, you feel like you're not listening or you've put up a barrier when someone's giving you new information or maybe even something a little critical, um, hang on to, hang on to and listen, open up and don't let ego the edge the guidance out. <clears throat> so. Anyway, that's what I had for you tonight. Just been thinking about that. And um, recovery is so important, and being our best self is so important too, and, and so worth it, you know, to go through that process. And uh, oh, today's step was on uh, daily accountability and coming to the end of the day and, and um, realizing that, you know, you took some steps forward, look at the wins, write the five things down that you're grateful for, and, um, Take a look at the things you might need to still improve on. You know, be accountable, be aware, understand that um, the adversary doesn't want you to succeed, and so there's opposition always pulling at you, trying to get you to uh, like the cows and the rhinos. I don't know if you've ever heard that story, but trying to get you to just stay in the pasture with the rest of the herd. And uh, so I challenge you to step outside that and go trailblazing, and make it a great week. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.